Hello there and welcome back, it's No Limps More of 2. Today, well, I'll be showing you the top 10 resource creatures in ARCs 5.5. And first up, we have the Dung Beetle. The Dung Beetle itself cannot harvest anything, but if you put poop in its inventory and put it on Wander, it will turn it into fertilizer. It is one poop, so it's a lot more efficient than the compost bin, and it makes it fertilise it faster. And it's overall a good creature. Number nine is for Beetle Booth. It can knock people out with its tongue, but if you have the bug with it, you will get some in place. That is why it's number nine on the list. And yeah, it can knock creatures out with a, with its tongue, which is pretty useful. Next up we have the snail. Snail, if you put it on wander, it will wander around and it will poop out Argentina paste, which is the same as Serenton paste, so it's a passive way of getting it, but they can be annoying to find in tame. So yeah, the snail. Next up we have the Anki. He's the only metal gatherer in Arx Five or Folds and he does it well. It reduces the weight of metal and it's very good at it. so that is why he is number 7 on this list. Next up is for Dodicarus. For Dodicarus is a stone gatherer. They can roll up into a ball and roll around and he also reduces the weight of stone so he is a good stone gatherer and the only one I think. That's why he is number 6 on this list. And you can see his stats, this is a 150. But yeah, pretty good. <coughs> so that is for the decorous for you. Next up we have a Calicotherium. This one you need beer to tame, so most people don't tame them. You can throw stones that damage stone structures, but he's also a very good berry gatherer and a strong mount for if you get attacked, so that's why he's on this list. Yeah. Just got some beer going and you can take the sky up. Next up, num we have for Equus. For Equus, is a horse pretty much. You need rock carrots to tame it. Uh, it's a passive tame, so if you don't know how to tame it, go check out my video for it. But um, it's got two attacks, and if you do the back attack, you can knock knock out creatures really well. Better than for frog. As you can see here, I knock out the turtle with ease. And if you have to put the saddle on, it acts as a mortar and pestle. So you just get some spoiled meat and while you're running around just gather berries and you've got yourself a very effective narco maker. And yeah, that is for equals. You can get a unicorn version which is pretty much the same apart from the gender and the skill horn on the head. Yeah. Coming in at number two is for Mammoth. You all saw, this, all saw this, guys. It quarters the weight of wood. It's a very effective wood gatherer. And also, it can gather berries. They are relatively easy to tame. But, yeah, very effective at what it does. Good weight, good stamina, good health. The base damage is more than a rack, so that's very good. And coming in, number one is the Rhino. Now, the Rhino is a very powerful creature, so if anything gets in your way, you can mow them down. He literally walks over trees and he gathers thatch. So, even though he is number one on this list, they're not really, this is not, say, better than the Mammoth just depends what you're gathering but his attack power is phenomenal and he is the best fetch gatherer in the game 
that is why he is on this list. And if anything gets in your way, you can easily take him out. So that's all for today's video. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.